What's Gucci, you too. It's Pat Brady, you dig? Live and direct from outside. This is the first time I've ever shot a video outside. You dig what I'm saying? But I am live and direct. I know y'all haven't seen me in a minute. You dig what I'm saying? But if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. The Marvelous Blunts, man. June, we back. Reviews, gaming, everything. Pat Brady is back. You dig what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody rocking and rolling with us, man. And run some of the content up. You dig what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, this weekend the gang linked up to go see Spider Man across the Spider Verse. You dig what I'm saying? I forgot to do the blog because I was smack. But, man, we had a great time. And, man, Spider Man across the Spider Verse was crazy, dog. I'm talking about from beginning to end, crazy. They stepped everything up. With from the first movie in this movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real with you though. I do not think that this, the second one was better than the first one. I, I'm gonna be real with you. The first one was just something totally different that I'd never seen before. Yes, they amped up everything, but it was like the John Wick effect when it's too much fighting. You feel me? It was too many cameos for me. You did it was too many cameos in this joint. I mean, it wasn't that big of an issue where it just like destroyed the movies with the cameos. But I, I'll get, I, I'll get into that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna get into the bad. We gonna, we gonna get right into the, this great movie, man. Spider Man across the Spider Verse. You dig what I'm saying? When I say Sony finally put in their work, they put in their work. You dig what I'm saying? Like this movie was basically Miles coming into who he is as a teenager. Like this told a lot of stories, not only as a black being a black kid growing up being a teenager just being a teenager like miles had to make a lot of i feel like he was the most authentic spider-man like all these spider-mans like tom holland toby Maguire, the way they played them they even though they were playing teenagers they didn't seem like teenagers for real for real this was a real teenager story dog and miles oh my goodness he was going through it from beginning to end i'm talking about from beginning to end. this was way darker than the first one it wasn't like you know what I'm saying? He was dealing with some real preteen, late teen issues, dog. And, and I'm talking about he was handling them terribly. Like, and also I really like that they went to the second Spider-Man movies. I feel like it's where they're trying to figure out and discover who they are. And and, and they're, they're having these disagreements with their families, their friends. So it was a lot of those elements of the normal Spider-Man movies. But no, man, this one was really dope, man. You dig what I'm saying? It basically was like, but one thing. The story was kind of like, I feel like this is more so Gwen's story. It had a lot of Gwen story in there. You dig what I'm saying? I didn't really like that. I just didn't like the fact also that Miles had to share the screen with two. It was too many Spider-Mans. It was tight, but it wasn't. You feel what I'm saying? Like, too many Spider-Man. It just had the story just kind of just like, it's, it's in one place, but it's just like, it has all these attractions for really one thing that we need to be paying attention to. You dig what I'm saying? But um, basically in this journey, you know what I'm saying? Miles fucked up, you feel what I'm saying? He pretty much he messed up the multiverse. Like I'm talking about he destroyed the multiverse. We thought the other Spider-Man did it. Oh my goodness, he messed up the multiverse like to the max, you know what I'm saying? Because basically Gwen had joined a spider team that you know goes around like kind of like the TVA and they stop, you know what I'm saying, these time or these villains from Spider-Man universes from going to other universes and terrorizing like they fought Vulture from like a like a like a renaissance time like dog the animation on this joint was sick. I would definitely get him that 10 out of 10 on the animation. Every scene was just mm, crisp, 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 crisp. Um but this team that Gwen joins is stopping all these little villains across the spider verse you dig what i'm saying and that's what she does they, they just got little bands little arm bands and they just go travel and she got miles involved with what kind of what they were doing and it messed up everything because miles i'm not gonna do a spoiler this is kind of a spoiler but review but not really i want y'all to see it miles ends up seeing some things in the future and he's like dog and it sets him all to the point where he makes his own decision where like he basically ruins the multiverse for his decision <laughs> you dig what i'm saying like or the how everything's supposed to go you dig what i'm saying and um they did a got good job of you know explaining each spider-man and new spider-man I, I i really like the new spider-man they brought to the table and the voices they brought to the table like you know what i'm saying oscar isaac who he played miguel which is uh spider-man 2029 it's a ray had spider woman we had daniel uh kaluuya who was on black panther get out all that stuff nope he played uh spider punk which was one of my favorites of the movie um we had like man right i didn't even know Haley steinfield was on here playing ghost spider-man they had an all-star cast you dig what i'm saying 
Miles had a villain that didn't I like the spy villain. I did not expect him to be what that was going to be, how deep it was going to go with his villain. It got real dark and deep with the villains, with the storylines. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this was really like a like the really like the history of Spider Man in this movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's okay. That's good. They had Lego Spider Man. They had video game Spider Man. They had all types of Spider Man. It was it was it was a great feeling as a Spider Man fan. But like I said, one thing my biggest gripe is, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm wait, wait, matter of fact, let me go with my likes. You know what I'm saying? But basically, the story the story is really overall Miles trying to stop something from happening in his future that he's seen his future through this multiverse team, and he is literally targeted by every spider-man he's being targeted by his family because he had a point with his family where he it's, it's this friction of him trying to be spider-man and then him being a teenager he messing up in school it's the average peter parker spider-man story man so um i definitely didn't give out a lot of details but i'm gonna tell you this it's a great movie so please go see it man please go see across the spider-verse as soon as i can it, it's like that you feel me I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's like that my biggest likes, I like the villains in these joints, you know what I'm saying? Even though I feel like it should have been more villains, but Vulture's villain was tight, you dig what I'm saying? Like how it looked, like the different animations. It should have been way more villains, though, now that I think about it. That's a dislike of mine. Um, I really like the Spider-Man team as a Spider-Man being my number one superhero. Just seeing all these different variations of Spider-Man definitely turned everything up. Had you like, oh, a lot of fan service. The intro was tough. I think it was a good little intro. It was like a 20-minute intro of one story, even though I didn't like certain aspects of the fact that I feel like we need to be focusing more on Miles, the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? But I really did like the intro. It was fire. It was different. They had a spoiler alert. They had a Venom crossover. They had a Lego crossover. Ah! Oh, my goodness. They had a Danny Glover from the MCU Spider-Man as the Prowler. Oh, it's, oh, oh my goodness. The, 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 the amount of fan service carried this movie as well as the animation for me. You feel me? Um, the Spider-Verse was crazy. The, the, the big spider chase scene when they were trying to get Miles was crazy. That was like half of the movie. Man, this was some good cinema. Like I left like cinema. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? But I'm going to be real with you. I had some dislikes, man. Um, one thing that was just like, I felt like the movie was too long. It was too long. It was too much. Like They could have chopped this movie up way more. I know it's two parts to this, but I really didn't like the length of this movie. Like They could have did way less. It was some real boring and dry parts to the movie that I ain't rock with. You feel me? Um, I think it should have been more fitted to IMAX. I feel like it wasn't fitted to IMAX. They actually even said that on the screen, like it wasn't for IMAX. So I really didn't like the IMAX version. I feel like I, I should have saw it in Adobe so I can get that. Ugh. But, you know, the IMAX was cool, but it could have been way better with the sound. You do what I'm saying? It's very low sound. Um, also, <laughs> as y'all see, I'm back with glasses. I had to take a break. My phone got too hot. <laughs> but, um, man... Like I said, I just didn't like how long the movie was, paused, and I just didn't like um, there was too many Spider-Man. I feel like Miles' story was just getting pulled everywhere, and like it was on Miles, but it really wasn't on Miles. It was just it was a lot of that Marvel cameo type style. I, I wasn't really rocking with that. Um, and I don't know, it just what it, it connected. Like it was a great movie, but it didn't connect like the first one did. I just it just the feeling the first one gave me is just a different feeling than this one. Hey, it is what it is. I am excited to see part two. I do suggest y'all do go see Across the Spider Verse. This movie was lit. It definitely was turned up. You know what I'm saying? I had my little gripes, but they wasn't gripes that made me just say don't go see the movie. No, go see that. Job. I definitely give it. I definitely give it a nine point five out of ten. Super lot is up, man, for Across the Spider-Verse and in the Spider-Verse 2. They did that, man. Sony <laughs> Sony said sugar, spice, and everything nice. And the thing is, it was actually stuck to the Sony, the dark formula. And, and in some scenes, like with Gwen and her father or whatever, you could see the animation of the, the background. Like it was like a painting just changing colors. Like, man, they animation-wise, they put the budget in this joint. You know what I'm saying? But what did y'all think of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse? Let me know in the comments below. Smash that subscribe button and marvelous bunch. You dig what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody for rocking, man. With rocking with me. Got a lot of stuff coming this week, so definitely stay tuned. It's Pat Ready, man. I'm out. 